my name's Kylie Collins from Blushing Acres at Dimbula. Um, so we're about an hour and a half west of Cairns. So we have a mango and avocado farm and we've got Calypso and Honeygold mangoes and Shepherd and Turner Hass avocados and some Malumas. We have our own packing shed and we pack for ourselves but we also pack for other growers as well. We're a lot hotter than the rest of the tablelands. And water is probably the, the most critical thing for production and size of your fruit. It's just so critical. And if you don't get those things right, it doesn't matter how much fertiliser you put on, you're not going to size your fruit up at the end of the day. If you can get your average size up into the premium ranges, it's, it's, it's worth a lot of money. So good irrigation is definitely, uh, you know, it's a no-brainer. When we started, the farm was very traditional for the area. So they had one main line and they had all the, the tapping bands on that. It was all set up for tobacco and you'd just go and open a tap for every lateral. So there were a lot of taps to open and close. It was a very inefficient way. The, the guys at Northern Gulf, they were very interested in irrigation efficiencies. And they came out and uh, had a look at the farm and we sort of started from there. I quickly realised that some of our pumps need to be replaced. To replace that pump, I think, was about 5,000. It would have been the first year and it would have paid it off, and then from there on, we, we've been, you know, that's money for us. Well, the original sprinklers were all knocker sprinklers, which are very inefficient to actually get water into the soil and fill your profile. And during the day, your evaporation losses are just crazy, especially with the wind. From when we bought the farm to now, we have none of the old original irrigation. We've replaced everything, when and how much to irrigate. Like, we had no idea. We did some research and capacitance probes were the way to go and we put them in with telemetry. That changed our whole watering process then. We only watered when we needed to. This is a controller for the irrigation. Communicates with all the uh, towers around the orchard and that's all automatic. When it gets hot, we like to be able to pulse irrigation through the micro sprinklers. It, it cools the trees down, puts humidity into the air. And so at the moment we had rain last night and that's saying disabled by rain switch. Because obviously we don't want any irrigation coming on. We're fertilising generally once or twice a week. So the last thing we want to be doing is pushing that fertiliser through the profile. Um, costs too much money to waste. And you know, we don't want it ending up in the river and all the rest of the issues that go with that. One of the first things we started doing in the early years was uh, mulching the avocados. Northern Gulf was promoting funds that were available. So we purchased the slasher or orchard mower, an absolute game changer for us, because we can go through the orchard and cut all our interrow grass just with a side throw slasher, it all goes under the tree. That's a, a huge issue for uh, moisture conservation. We don't have any scorched earth policy under our mangoes here. We don't want to see bare earth anywhere. The best mulch is brown and stalky. Um, it's got a lot more carbon and, and a lot less nitrogen in it, so it lasts a lot longer. If it's too fine, it, it becomes a dense mat, whereas when it's coarse, it's easier to, for it to remain oxygenated. There's also a point that you can put too much mulch on, and we've put it on quite thick in places last year to use it up, so you know, they just wouldn't dry out. The root growth wasn't there like we usually see. All that white is uh, fungi, which is what we're looking for. It's absolutely beautiful. It tells me everything's healthy here. And these are a fungal dominated root system. So the more fungi, the better. If we dig down into here now, so that's all, you know, they're all the avocado roots here. So now the roots are actually growing up into the mulch. We've seen huge uh, changes in our soil. Our organic matter, when we started, was about 0.5%. On our avocado blocks, we're up around 25 to 3% now, which is a huge difference on sand. The trade-offs for that is, is our irrigation requirements have decreased nearly 50% in some blocks. So it is absolutely staggering of how little water we can run on those blocks now with good mulch the water holding capability of that soil is completely different now. Northern Gulf, you know, I think they've done a lot of, lot of good in the area. For us personally, you know, the, the audits and the info we've got out 
I mean, we've been doing figures for a long time on the farm, but we still benefited immensely. You know, there was, there was a few things which we hadn't considered, which Northern Golf highlighted with uh, like pumping efficiencies. And when I think about it now, it's all common sense, but you know, when you're starting out, it's not 